Hello Transformers fans! In this video we have news of another release date and some updates on two upcoming Transformers movies. As we unfortunately know, Transformers Rise of the Beasts was recently delayed, with the initial release date of next year, June 2022, moved to the following year of June 2023. This delay has raised a lot of questions about the future of Transformers movies under Paramount, and how this will affect other projects. Along with Transformers Rise of the Beasts, there are two other Transformers movies planned and currently in development. The first is an animated movie from Toy Story 4 director Josh Cooley, and the second is a live action movie directed by Angwell Manuel Soto. Manuel Soto is also working on The Blue Beetle, a movie based on the DC comic superhero for Warner Brothers. Many of you may have seen the presentation about that movie at this year's DC Fandom, which gave us more insight into Manuel Soto as a director, and what he may potentially bring to Transformers. At this point in time, there's not a whole lot known about his Transformers project, although we did get some brief info on what to expect from an interview with Soto earlier this year. In the interview, Soto said that his movie would take place outside of the United States, and the story will not involve the military. Despite there being some confusion on whether Rise of the Beast will share a connection to Michael Bay's movies, Soto's project has been stated to take place completely outside the Bayverse. This could imply that the movie will be a standalone story, set apart from any existing universe, or it might be that it shares the same universe as Rise of the Beasts, as we don't know for sure on whether that will be in the Bayverse or not. If not, saying this new movie will not be connected to the Bayverse does not mean it won't share a continuity with Rise of the Beasts. What's interesting is Soto personally pitched the idea for his Transformers movie to Paramount and Hasbro. Both companies were impressed by his idea and decided to greenlight the project. Soto's movie will have a budget of over $50 million, and will aim to add a more human touch to the Transformers characters, in terms of their personality, and not how they are designed. Mamor Soto is from Puerto Rico, and he hopes he can bring much of the filming to his home country. If he can, this could possibly set up another globetrotting adventure for the Transformers, which is an important theme for Rise of the Beasts, and may well be for this movie too. So that's about all we know so far for Mamor Soto's Transformers project. As for Josh Cooley's animated feature, we have a bit of new info to share in regards to when we can expect to see this movie in theatres. This animated movie has been described as a Cybertron prequel, which will be set on the home planet of the Autobots and Decepticons, and will focus on the relationship between Optimus Prime and Megatron. When a fan asked him if the movie was still happening, Cooley provided an update on Twitter. The question put to Cooley was, is your Transformers animated feature still happening, scheduled for April 2023? In response, Cooley provided a gif of G1 Optimus Prime providing a thumbs up, seemingly confirming that this movie is going ahead as planned and is set for release in April 2023. If this is the case, that means we'll be getting two new Transformers movies in 2023, and they'll be released in just a few months of each other. If Cooley's animated movie comes out on that date, it will actually be released before Rise of the Beasts. At this moment in time, I wouldn't say that the movie is 100% locked for April 2023, as we've seen with Rise of the Beasts, release dates can change, there's every chance this movie gets pushed back, or maybe even brought forward. This news that the Cybertron prequel is still in the works might point to the Hasbro and Paramount deal being extended beyond 2022. With Soto and Cooley's project still on the table and both set for release after the Hasbro and Paramount deal ends, it seems that the companies have a vision of working together in the years following 2022. We don't know for sure, and I hope it doesn't happen, but I do wonder why development isn't being halted on these movies if Hasbro are planning to end the partnership next year. So let me know your views on both these new Transformers movies. When do you think we will see them? And do you think this may hint to Hasbro and Paramount's partnership being renewed? Make sure you leave us a comment, why not drop a like on this video, and until the next one, thanks for watching.